fucking hell, he's lying. Lie in that there. See if you can fit in. Is yeah, it yourself. Is it yours? Have you actually... You've just painted around that, haven't you? You've, you've actually done another... I can see you've, you've had another go, so... Oh, I've, I've, I've um, brightened it up a bit, yeah. For the summer? Yeah, I mean, Adam was done. I thought I'll have that done as well. <laughs> Told you what happened with that, didn't I? No. So we're going to take me uh, to court for doing it. And I asked them why. They said it was lowering the tone of the neighbourhood. <laughs> I said, if they actually did that in Withenshaw when somebody was shot, you know, it'd be all over Withenshaw. <laughs> I said, it's lowering the tone. How can you lower the tone? I mean, that's quite but hard to do, isn't it? The threat off, and I said, I'd take them to Europe. <laughs> so it's my human rights to have that. It's artistic expression. So I don't like garden mold, but I don't go around removing them. You could have taken them to Europe when City were in there last year. You could have, you could have followed City in Europe and, and taken it and, and, got the, and got in the court while they were, at, you know, before the match, after the match, whatever. It's really good, that. Do you hear about that bird with the plasticine fanny? I've not been with her yet, but I made a good impression. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. have to beep that bit out, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be a serious film, this, you know. Huh? You've got an idea of a jokey film, haven't you? No, no. Well, your book's a little bit jokey, but it's serious as well. It's, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's being serious, but using humour to... Yeah, absolutely. All comedies yeah. are based on very, very dire, yeah. you know, life... I mean, you look at all well, the good comedians... You can't all be doom and gloom, I know what you mean. All good comedians have had horrible lives. Yeah. So, you know, that's where comedy comes oh, yeah, from. It humor. comes from pain, it comes from pain, you know. Yeah, yeah. But, um, what I mean is, I've got this idea of, like... You know, just scanning the newspaper article and then flashback to when I was younger doing the campaigning and then some of the other odd bits of doing them. When we do some with Tony Warren students, that as well. Mm. You know, all good who, who should we get? Who should we get to do the voiceover? Uh, I don't know, I like her. Uh, what's her name? Kirsty off uh, Crime Watch. <laughs> Is there any? Kirstie why don't we get someone like Stephen Fry or somebody who's got mental health? Well, Kurt, uh, no, it's we're whoever not. they'll do it, innit? Of course they'll do it. They'll do anything. Frank Bruno would do it. What's her name? Kerry Catone would do it. Kerry Catone. She could do it, couldn't she? And we could have fun with her, apparently. Allegedly. Go if you do like fry ups. Yeah. Right, I'll take you to my favourite place. And we're desperate and you'll fucking love it. It's dead cheap as well. Saint and Scholars is cool. It's called what? It's called Saint and Scholars and you'll love it in there. Because it's got nice girls working there. They know me in there. And um, it's lovely. It's like six quid. I'll pay for it, it's no problem. You pay on your card? Yeah. I'll tell you a good number if you get someone tripping up or falling on their ass, 250 quid off you, mate. <laughs> That's a bit old, that, isn't it? No, and it's a god 250 quid off you, mate. I know, I know that for about 15 years. It's not news. <laughs> Is this the fucking news from, you know? I'm thinking of how we can make some quick money. How we can make quick money? Can yeah. I? Make quick money by just taking it out of my account in the fucking spread betting firm. I've got loads of, well, not loads, I've got a grand in it. I can take, I can take it out and put it back in. See those one liners I put up on Facebook? Yeah, that's brilliant, aren't they? Have you got them all written down? <laughs> well, on Facebook, yeah, obviously. I was just bored, I think I was the only one on there. What everyone time else, was that? What everyone, time were you on there? Everyone else was out in the sun. It was yesterday, uh, wasn't it? Well, yesterday I went to Liverpool, right? And, uh, They've got this great little street market in Topstuff and it's right next to Topstuff TV and Topstuff TV is like, they do films with mental health, they do films with all community type films and then I met the guy who runs it called Joe, Paddy introduced me to him right, then he introduced me to a woman who does art and stuff so, and then, then another guy who's got a business called Recycle where they fix bikes, dead 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 cheap and they teach you how to fix your own so I'm going to go and do in the future a little film with him because I think it's a great idea. 
and I'm going to get a bike from him because it's 45 quid for a new bike well a, a fixed up bike and you can't get a 45 quid bike that's decent anywhere well, like well I'm going to take Lucy's because it needs sorting and he'll do it for me he won't charge me much like a mountain bike yeah, just, he's a good lad. They're all very good people. They're all just doing. It's not something like that. Manchester. Well, that's what I was saying to him. Why don't we? Why don't we do a video and sell the idea to Manchester all Council? All we need, all we need, is premises cheap. Oh yeah, but I mean, I'm not going to spend time fixing bikes. The, the no, idea you'll of, be out. You'll be out filming weddings. The idea of that is, you fix. You learn to fix your own bike, and that's that's the whole idea with it. You know, you know, because most people can't fix a puncture, and it's dead easy to do. It's just a number of steps. Take the inner tube out. You know, put. a bit of glue on leave it to dry then put another bit on put a patch on you know it's people don't know how to do it so they go and buy a new inner tube for five quid you know you've got to find the hole first so you? yeah but you just put that in water don't you yeah. everyone knows how to do it but kids now yeah uh, kids these days they don't know how to do anything buy a new wheel won't they? they well yeah they buy a new bloody wheel they don't like it they like not used to fixing things if something breaks now you get a new one don't you toaster kettle whereas before you take your kettle in and they put a new element in wouldn't they years ago yeah well it's the same with bikes they, they get a mountain bike See, when I was young and slim, tellies were big and fat. <laughs> and now it's the opposite. It's this, actually, isn't it? When you, you have, that's a good line now, you have to use that yeah. one. When I was narrow waisted and broad minded. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm broad waisted and narrow minded. There you go, pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Bad time reading, but it might give you nightmares. <laughs> what would you like to eat? Is he ordered this? Are you a saint or a scholar? Certainly no saint. I'm waiting for O'Neill's to open. <laughs> Live Irish music. I got battered outside there, you know, when, when I was off my head. I tried it on with someone's wife right in front of it. And he just, Why? Well, I, I walked out, looked at his hand, and I walked out of the pub and I walked into a fist. He just banged me, so I went straight down and fucking kicked me in the head. I mean, you're telling me, actually. Yeah. I was all, that's where I got back. O'Neill's and, uh, well, there's three lads actually waiting around the corner for me, three of them. Ooh, nice, eh? Mm -hmm. Straight people. I got mugged here once. Managed to knock one out. I mean, it's not the best place to have a wank, but. <laughs> have you heard that one? Of my, my daughter, have you heard about my daughter? Well, in the gay village, she got rushed. She, this guy came up and said, Give us your money. And she said, No, I'm not giving you money. And he went, Oh, go on, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if I feel like uh, I need to switch off or something, my thoughts are racing, I'll. Uh, yeah. I'll medicate. With their stuff. Cerical. Yeah. Why do you think it works for bipolar though, and schizophrenia? Why is it work? Well, there's got to be an overlap with the illnesses, have not there? There has to be. Because I get high. I just don't have desperate lows. Yeah. So that's so that's your illness is when you're high, and you see and that. You, but it's high. It's a different kind of high because you link a lot of stuff together and all that. Yeah. Well, I take things on board. It's like information overload, isn't it? Mm. But but I do get high, and you know, like. Uh, interact with people in a kind of a cavalier way and you know no fear whatsoever yeah. and uh, do get those feelings that there's nothing I can't accomplish so are you high now then you say no no maybe after this I will be <laughs> okay cheers thanks you okay yeah thank good. you I even got your phone number in, it's a good advert for you this, you know. 498 2457 Satan Scholars do a lovely breakfast, what's it like? I think we'll have to pay for it if we do them a good recommendation of this. Do you like it? Mm. It's nice, isn't it? Best you can get in this with this. <laughs>